You probably think you know me. I lived at the Playboy Mansion, married a football star, and then one day it all came to an end. Well, let me tell you, you don't know half the story. In a situation, you don't know what to say. Don't oh, Kendra, the door is over here. Oh my God. After the divorce, I needed a new career, and it's real estate. I spent months studying, and I passed that test the first time around. So now I'm here to get this real estate career going. So we have an eight-week trial, and after those eight weeks, we're gonna look and see if you've done well. If you've not done well, you're out. I have a lot to learn. Oh my God, get me out. Oh my God. Oh, oh blue balls. I have no idea how I'm going to get either a seller or a buyer. You take it on. Uh, that guy took one look at Kendra, that guy took one look at me, and was like, I want Kendra to show the house. I'm a mom of two, trying to start a new career. I found this $50 million lead. My biggest fear is failure. If you can't handle pressure, this is not the right business. There's no going back to the Playboy Mansion. What do you guys want to eat? I don't uh, know. I don't know. I might have my leftover spaghetti. I might have my leftover pasta. OK. Do you guys know what real estate is? Yeah. Do you think I can do it? Maybe. <laughs> You'll have to put a lot of work into it. I need to get back to making some money, because we need it. <laughs> do I look nervous to you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You look extremely nervous. I do? Here I am, about to start my real estate journey, day one. <sighs> I'm, honest to God, just a mom of two, trying to start a new career. I want to be in control of my narrative. I want to be in control of my life. No. Oh. And really become this new image, who I want to be. Oh, this kind of works. <laughs> no. Hey, I don't know what to wear. What do I wear? I met my best friend Jessica at the Playboy Mansion about 16 years ago, and we've been on a journey ever since. I lived at the Playboy Mansion for five years. I was young, I was fun, I was crazy. I partied a lot, traveled the world, and it was just fun. No, wrong. We're not selling sex anymore. I want to feel professional. I don't know how to feel professional. I'm not ashamed of doing Playboy, but I am not that anymore. And my goal is to just put that image to rest. I want to push as hard as I can to make my kids proud. I am meeting the team for the first time today. Are you feeling OK? No. Are you nervous? Yeah, yes. Like, I don't know what the like, what am I doing? <laughs> well, if you're not wearing those jeans, that's what you're not doing. So let's let's get those off. OK. I mean, I'm going to put on some jeans, and you tell me if you like these. OK. OK. What about these? What about these jeans? Yeah. Love those jeans. You like Love these? Them. No holes. OK. Good job. OK. How about this? I mean, this might work, actually. Now okay. you're on to something. Perfect. Do you like this? Yes. You like the whole look? Yes. OK. Yes. Okay, if good. you do that stretch in the meeting, that's fantastic, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Does it uh, look OK? Professional, ready to go. I really, really want to get this down. Their nerves are hitting, girl. I have known you for 15 years. You got this. Be you. OK. All right. All right, love you. OK, love you, too. Today, I have an interview with Ernie Carswell and his team at a Bel Air mansion. And if this goes well, I might get a job at Doug O'Sullivan, one of the most famous real estate firms in the world. I'm going to put every minute I possibly can into succeeding this business. Bye, guys. Love you. I'm a single mom. This is not just a job. This is my life. Single mom hustle. That's what it's about. After I left the Playboy Mansion, I got married to a football player, and it was a fairy tale. We had two kids. Life was just perfect. It was heaven. And then uh, one day, it all came to an end. 
Kendra Wilkinson is reportedly devastated by her marriage to Hank Baskett, who was reported to have had an affair. After that, I fell into a dark hole. I experienced rock bottom, and I had to pretty much find hope again. So many people gave up on me. Like, oh, you're just a D-list, coming from the Playboy world, like, it was so cliche. People think that I'm shallow, but what they don't know is how hard I actually studied for this real estate test. I wanted to prove to everyone that I could do this, even when it's hard to believe in myself. Okay, here we go. Right now, I am a nobody. I know that this is a big risk, and I'm not here to take the easy route. I'm not here to just think that everything's going to be handed to me because I'm a celebrity. I know all that. I'm here to work from scratch and just build up 